Korea assists Bolivia with medical equipment. Korea, a laureate of three Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection and Peace, generously donated medical supplies worth an estimated 3.2 million US dollars to Bolivia. The donation was made by the Korea International Cooperation Agency, or KOICA, to the Oruro Korea Hospital that was built by KOICA in 2017 in the city of Oruro, Bolivia. The donation included equipment for hemodialysis, which is a key medical treatment for patients with severe kidney problems. The contribution is part of Korea's 9 million US dollars aid program to Bolivia with the goal of improving health conditions for citizens residing in high elevation areas. Our sincere accolades, Korea, for your generous help to Bolivia. May heaven bless all the soulful Bolivians to thrive in good health, abundance and joy. Democratic Republic of the Congo declares end to Ebola outbreak. The Central African state recently announced that their 12th Ebola outbreak has now been completely controlled due to the work of the nation's response team and its health partners, including the World Health Organization. The virus sadly took the lives of six people from a total of 12 cases that were reported, with the COVID-19 pandemic also affecting the country's ability to monitor and contain it. The resurgence was the same strain of the virus that affected the nation between 2018 and 2020, when there were 2,287 fatalities. Such wonderful news, Democratic Republic of Congo, on your successful containment of Ebola. We pray that your citizens will be safe in the future, and may they soon adopt a vegan diet to ensure their lives are peaceful and healthy. I Scientists create fabric from plastic. Researchers from the United States and Italy have created clothing fabric from polyethylene, a substance commonly used for plastic bags and wrap. The textile is low-cost, repeatedly recyclable to create new garments and ultralight in weight. It also wicks away moisture, whereas normally polyethylene traps it. To create the threads, the plastic is melted, spun and woven on traditional textile equipment. The researchers say it offers a lower environmental footprint than natural fabrics such as cotton and linen. Using the discarded plastic as the raw material also helps to reduce global plastic pollution. Way to go, scientists from the United States and Italy for your fantastic new fabric that could help to keep us cool and comfortable while protecting the planet. In the love of the providence, may such techniques to reduce waste soon become commonplace as we create a circular economy for all. United Kingdom researchers train artificial intelligence to predict diseases biological language. Scientists from the University of Cambridge, United Kingdom have successfully trained a machine learning algorithm to predict the biological language of cancer, Alzheimer's and neurodegenerative diseases. An algorithm like those used by technology companies to determine what a person may do or type next was fed with decades worth of medical research data. The language model then came to the same conclusions as the humans did on the molecular origins of disease, but in a much shorter amount of time. According to the paper's lead author, Professor Thomas Knowles, this advancement may soon facilitate medical experts to correct the grammatical mistakes inside cells that cause disease. Thank you, University of Cambridge scientists, for your project to help us better understand our health. In heaven's grace, may your amazing initiative eventually aid in healing people around our world as we assist one another through intelligent research and compassion. Five-year-old girl becomes good friends with delivery driver. Molly Zender often runs out of her front door to greet Kevin Kiwig, a delivery driver for the UPS shipping company. He has been driving the same route for more than 20 years and regularly visits Molly's neighborhood in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, USA. Whenever he stops by her house, she shares elbow bumps and starts conversations with him. From their daily chats, Kevin learned that Molly has hydrocephalus, a condition where cerebrospinal fluid accumulates in the brain and this requires medical attention. For his part, Kevin was able to secure a 10,000 US dollars donation from the UPS Foundation for Children's Wisconsin, the hospital that has cared for Molly in the past. 
our appreciation, Kevin Kiwig and UPS Foundation, for your loving heart and support for young Molly and others. May she continue to flourish with resilience and positivity in God's benevolent gaze. Coming up, new vegan cafe chain offering healthy, comfort, plant-based foods launches in Japan. We pause to be grateful to the saints' blessings that there is so much freedom today to choose our faith and practice spiritually. Healthy vegan comfort food options increase in Japan via launch of new cafes. Two Incorporated, a wellness company in Tokyo, Japan, has introduced an all-new healthy junk food branding concept named Two Foods to offer Japanese consumers nutritious and delicious plant-based items. The flagship Two Foods Cafe is located beside Two's Food Tech Park store in the Shibuya district, where innovative vegan products such as those from Omni Meat and Beyond Meat are available. Within the next three years, Two Foods seeks to open another 100 to 150 stores globally. Three Two Foods stores are currently operating in Tokyo, offering more than 60 kinds of vegan food such as a chicken nan ban bowl, an egg donut made from tofu and pumpkin, plus other desserts and drinks. In addition, the company has an online store for ordering takeout on delivery. Congratulations to Incorporated on adding the Two Foods brand. May your planet-friendly efforts inspire more Japanese citizens to swiftly embrace the loving vegan lifestyle in heaven's mercy. Dutch City creates hundreds of homes for bees. In the city of Utrecht, in the Netherlands, 200 nesting boxes for bees and other pollinators have been installed on a large billboard tower above the busy A2 motorway. Built by the media company Ocean Outdoor Netherland, the boxes are in close proximity to a 7,000 square meter meadow that was created by the city, with hills and sand for ground nesting bees and wild flowers that provide food and a suitable environment environment for the variety of wild bees, it is perfect for these insects that have taken up residence in the newly built homes. It is hoped the project will support the nation's unique bee population, which includes 360 species, half of which are endangered. Such encouraging news, Utrecht and Ocean Outdoor Nederland, on your concerted efforts to protect and support the selfless bees of your nation. We pray that they will thrive under the loving care of the Divine. 